Hello guys! Welcome back to another tutorial of Stable Diffusion with Automatic 11 on 11. So in this tutorial, you will be going to learn about an extension called Regional Prompter for Automatic 11 on 11. As you can see, there are a lot of material available on GitHub. While I'll be using Dark Sushi model for this tutorial, and I will show you how to use the extension. Let's get started. First, go to the extension tab and search for regional prompter in the search bar and install the extension normally like you do usually. This extension are going to give you more detail of control in an image by divide different area. Go check for updates as well. After installation, restart your web UI to set up and load the extension. So there you go, scroll down and you will see the extension. Go open it and take a look at the user interface of it. Now we will get to know that regional means that you will be writing prompts for each region of the image, whether horizontal or vertical. You can increase the image's regions as well. You will be using as add call for horizontal images and switch the region, while for vertical it will be add draw. Okay, so now let's get started with the extension. Now go and check the box to activate the extension. For first run, I am dividing it into three regions. That means we will add two add draw to divide the prompt above. Now watch carefully. How am I writing the prompt? Here you will come to know easily how you can arrange your prompts for each region. Do add some negative prompts too. Get the settings done for 1111. And let's generate the image. There you go, take a look at the image. Do match the prompt applied on each region. Well, the background was random, so let's do make another region. To control the background also, so I will add another region in the extension and in the prompt section. I will add a line into prompt for background, and we'll add one more add draw to divide this region too. And let's generate. So here you go. Now, I also changed the dress color as you can see in the results. Now the background also generates according to the prompt. So that's it for today's tutorial, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day.